Hi, I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor, and today I'm going to talk about the charge of prostitution in Arizona. Now, under Arizona Revised Statute 13-3211 or 13-3214, or there's city codes, such, for example, Phoenix has code 23-52, prostitution is defined as knowingly, intentionally offering sexual contact for money or something else of value, such as drugs. Now, um, in these cases, the defendant, with what I'm talking about, is the accused prostitute, and the John is the solicitor. Now, that's called solicitation of prostitution. That is a different crime than prostitution, and we have a separate, uh, separate page on our site, dmcantor.com, where you can look up solicitation of prostitution if you were the John who was arrested. Now, for somebody who's committing prostitution or offering to sell their body for money, a first offense minimum is 15 days in jail. Second offense is 30 days in jail. Third offense is 60 days in jail. Fourth offense is 180 days in jail. And those are all minimums. Defenses, entrapment. Entrapment is where, let's say somebody's a masseuse or uh, an escort or a dancer, and they're offered uh, a lot of money, something that would overbear their will, and they say, oh, okay, to the undercover cop, wow, that's a lot of money, okay, I'll do that. Then you can argue for entrapment, and that's been a very successful defense for us. Also, there's what's called jumping the gun. That's where somebody says, hey, uh, you know, I'm an escort, let me come over, oh, if I give you money, will you make me happy? Sure, you'll be happy. She comes over, walks in the door, and there's an undercover officer at a hotel room, and he arrests her immediately. Well, there's been no exchange of money. There was no agreed-upon sex act, and the officer jumped the gun. The escort could have been talking about just dancing or going out to, as an escort. Now, common defenses include Miranda rights violations, coerced statements, denial of right to counsel. That's where you ask for a lawyer, and they wouldn't get you one. Uh, fingerprints. For example, on the money, if your prints aren't on the money, we can argue, wait a second, no money was exchanged. Um, indicia of prostitution, that's condoms, lube, things like that. If none of that was found, we can argue, hey, wait a second, there's no indicia. A bad search warrant, coerced statements of the Johns, where they go to the John and they say, hey, you better tell me that this girl you picked up was a prostitute, otherwise we're going to arrest you too. Well, that's a coerced statement. And just plain sloppy re police reports. We see that all the time. So if you or a loved one has been charged with solicitation of prostitution or prostitution, give us a call for a free initial 30-minute consultation. It doesn't cost you anything to meet with us. We have many attorneys who are excellent at this, multiple certified crim law specialists, and we'd love to help you out. I look forward to hearing from you soon.